So Mugash Maxi now organizes for you guys this amazing opportunity on NTV. Yeah, on uh, on Nation FM. On Nation FM, yeah. yeah. So now he allows us he allows us a TNTV, couple of a Nation couple FM. Of, yeah, he allows us a couple of interviews. We get uh, uh, yeah a couple of interviews gives us a good rate for the classifieds. It was pretty cool. It was very very nice. Concert ended up going very well. But the reason why it was such a meaningful collision was that Maxi was working in radio, man, and I'd always wanted to work in radio. Um, I was like, yeah, you know, given the chance, I would love to be a radio presenter. And um, radio was huge then. You know, we still had we still had um, Metro FM doing its thing, Capital FM doing its thing. Nation FM was now the new kid on the block. Mm -hmm. Well, Family Media had come in by that point, but Nation FM, Nation FM was huge. And Modoni Brika was working at Nation at this point, Bob Kyoko was working at Nation at this point, Robert Warobi was there, DJ Pinya and the Scratchaholics were there, it was big. And N Nation FM, whereas Metro FM was very heavily local and urban and they, they, they played a lot of that, it was a fusion of all the music that we'd love that would play at the club, it still had a lot of that KBC flavor to it. Yeah. It still lacked a certain finesse. Mm -hmm. Capital FM at this point was still a little bit too elitist. Yeah, it was still a little bit distant. They were playing their rock and whatever, but they still weren't uh, accepting Kenyan music and Kenyan culture like they would a bit later on. Nation FM though, Nation FM was like all Kenyan music is welcome. In fact, a lot of the big strides that were made post Kenyan first and second chapter with the new kids that came out after that was really buoyed by Nation. So one day I'm going to visit uh, Mark. I'd go, I'd, I'd go visit him at work every time when I had a free moment. Uh, when we, we didn't have any all over things to do, if I didn't have any USA things to do, I didn't have any assignments or whatever, I'd go to Nation FM. Just because I loved being in this space where, oh, there's more than a week, I'm just walking next to you and there's that and there's that. So one Saturday night, um, I'm like, yo, I really want to listen to DJ Pinier. Now, DJ Pinya had released a DJ album. I'm sure you didn't know that either. I DJ Pinya and DJ Scratchaholix <laughs> had a, they had an album where they had all these artists come together. They worked with some producers, they worked with some artists, and they were like, we will incorporate production DJ and performance into an album called Scratchaholix, I think. And the tagline was like, uh, we are here to scratch your itch or something. I can't remember, but scratch, <laughs> scratch, yeah. I can't remember, but it was amazing. And let me ask, DJ Styles and Scratchaholics? No. Okay. DJ Styles was still running his. Was he? I don't think so. I might be wrong though. Okay, anyway. But I doubt it. I doubt it. I can't remember though. So, um, you yeah, know, Maxi was like, yo, all the Scratchaholics are going to be here and they had some albums, and uh, there's some artists who are going to be passing by. So if you want to come by, that's cool. So we were in the production studio, there was the live studio, a production studio, and uh, a live studio and two production studios. The production studios is where they'd make all the jingles, ads, yeah. all the ads, all the stuff, but there was no live transmission happening from there. So we used to like sitting and if there was anything going on in the live studio, we'd watch through the windows or we'd get into the studio. And uh, Scratchaholics were hosting K-South. And K-South were doing a lot. There was an event that they were fronting, an event that they were promoting. And K-South were, were, were dropping freestyles. And I was like, this is where I want to be. <laughs> there is Bamboo. Uh, there is a bus, you know, AKA Doobies. And they're just performing. Bamboo was bamboozled still. They're still bamboozled and Doobies. Yeah. K-South and they were just dropping rhymes. And they were trying to start off a unit there called Buffer, by Artists for Artists. Yeah. The, co the collective didn't go very far. The event that they were uh, talking about didn't go very far either. But just being there in the room with those guys, I was like, this is special. And I remember Maxi telling me, oh man, there's some cool stuff coming that you don't know about. And I'm like, yeah, what's this stuff? What's this stuff? He's like, there's this unit called Ogopa. You wait for it. So I'm like, okay, cool. Then Nation FM and now Capital FM started playing music that started with Okopa DJs. Okopa DJs. So I was like, who's the, who are these Okopa DJs? So of course they're 
the first song that we knew out of this Ogopa DJ stable was That's from an artist life. that people knew already uh, called Nameless. Uh-huh. And he was doing a song with Amani and it was called Ninanoki. Ninanoki. But before that, Gidurai had come out. They came out pretty when... much around the same time. They actually came out before. Because did, did that Gidurai come out? Gidurai and Julie from Nameless's thing is what made Nameless go to oh, you're right. look for that thing. You're right. But it wasn't the remix. No, the it remix. wasn't the Mr. Lenny it, remix yet. It was the Mr. No, Lenny. Not yet. Yeah. Okay, so. Oh, yes. Ogopa okay. DJs had Mr. Googs and Vidi Banton release a song called Githurai. Yes. And the reason I remember it was because they performed on a show on Nation TV called The Warehouse. Warehouse. Yes. Oh, my God. So, the you remember The Warehouse? Yes. The, the Warehouse was live music being oh. performed. It wasn't being performed live, but you saw the artists performing. Exactly. And again, music videos weren't a thing. Mm-hmm. So, you were going to watch people performing their music on this show called The Warehouse. And there's a crowd there. There was a crowd. Yeah. There was multiple camera angles. It was pretty decent. And a lot of these people, because, you know, the information, not the information, but the content was owned by The Warehouse, a lot of this content ended up being the sort of substitutes for a real music video. Yep. Hi, baby card. I got it and got it and I had it, but what do you mean, baby? She's not in. Who are you? I can go to my penny solo crew. You know it's the guy on the other side come a chitko. Oh, and attack and this the track on me. In fact, you know never if you am a fair, fair expensive young nika from Kakameka, out of a Kinsekenya behind my packa. Kwan kutundo takudo kali namboka. Na leo jioni pepeko kapo chikako ngupelekeko kwa koteli kakupaka kupwa. Ukuleko marako empako nyampe pui pui. Now, I remember Githurai hearing this song for the first time and we were hearing the tum 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 and we're like, what? But it was still a very stripped down song. We still hadn't quite had it. What you're about to inhale into your system is a sound that is strictly underground. Meant for the hip hop heads across the continent of Africa, out the weekly underground. Meant for the hip hop heads across the continent of Africa, out the America. Famosi, can I'm freezing? Oh, see, there's a song on a bad man, Africa. Cho, I go for DJs. Excuse me. When we we make them see freeze. Cause we don't see your money. Cause we give you what you need. Cause in the old dancing. Jump when I put the mic. It's a new dancing. And then when we. Are you very bossy? We make them see freeze. Who don't have time for Cause we give you what you need. Eh? But if you get a bossy. Jump when I put the mic. She all I share with you. So I say to me talk a good to ride. You do ride. To make a cuckoo for rent and get a try. So try. To give try what them see's come a yard. What a ride. Give what him a shake a semba ma. Oh ma. So I say to me talk a good to ride. Then Inanoki came out, and then we had this a new version of Gidurai. Of Gidurai. Uh, now featuring this dude called Mr. Lenny. Uh-huh. And we're hearing all this music and it's like, what? And then there's this singer called Amani doing a song called, uh, I believe, or I believe in all of... Tahidi. Tahidi. Tahidi.
ED, yes. Gospel. Uh, which is a gospel song. Mm -hmm. and, and, it's on, and it was on the Ogopa One. It was on Ogopa One. So now all this music that was coming from Ogopa One started coming out. And the more I was visiting, the more I was visiting Maxi, the more he was telling me, oh, they dropped another one. There's another one come. So he played for me a song called Joe. And the first words were kuna 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 kijana moja kutoka South Sea, Joe. Kuna 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 kijana moja kutoka South Sea, Joe. Kijana mwenye lebo kama Nike, Joe. Mna fuck mwona akishika Mikey, Joe. Mikono juu ya hewa kama kaiti, Joe. Kama safari hatari na gari, Joe. Kama toma hatari with the honey, Joe. Kama wewe si a sister kutani, Joe. Kama sija kutaja samahani, Joe. Wimbo huja isha bado kuna wakati, Joe. Kama bado huja jua jina, Joe. Nani mwenye raimu tamu kama tika, Joe. Nani mwenye kupiga Mike Tisa, Joe. Nani mwingine isipo kuwa Isa, Joe. Jesus, nikishika, Joe. Mamanzi, wanawi. And I was like, yo, this dude is called Isa. And he was like, yeah, yeah, Isa came by the studio yesterday. He dropped this jam and he said it's an Ogopa jam as well. But he's not like Mr. Googs and Vinnie Banton. You know, they're, they're the right. Like this, this guy is just your ordinary middle class. Like he could be a barbie. Like you can even hear he's from South Sea. And he was like, yeah, the dude came in. He's a short dude. He's very friendly. And he was dressed in, uh, uh, what was this brand of shoes? Fillers. Not fillers. They were, what they called lugs. What are they called lugs? L-U-G-Z. I don't even remember those ones. Okay, if you want your Kalkanai baggy jeans, there was some two shoes, like some two heavy shoes. I think they were called lugs. And he came in with those and he was like, I remember this guy had some really cool shoes. So he listened to Joe by Isa. And I'm like, you see this guy lives in South Sea? And he's like, yeah. And I'm like, I wonder which part of South Sea. Because I was living in South Sea at the time. Oh, oh my God. So. A few days later, my sis is like, yo, you've heard of this guy called Isa? And I'm like, yeah, 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 I've heard he lives in South Sea. And my sis is like, he lives in Halai Estate. He lives in our store, house number. And I'm like, this Isa lives in this hood. <laughs> so Isa was still pretty new in our hood and you're still looking for friends. So he's struck up a very quick friendship with my sister and my sister's best friend, uh, a girl called Yvonne. Mm -hmm. And Yvonne, we'll come to that a little bit later mm. on. I so, met Yvonne. <laughs> you met Yvonne. I had a Yvonne. conversation with Yvonne. Oh, did you? <laughs> yeah. For the Playhouse? No, 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 I met her. I met her while K1 was DJ. Ah, so. And we had a conversation about. So you know about the background. About, yes, the okay. background. So you can see what's coming up. Um, and so I'm listening to this music and now I, I learned that Isa lives in our neighborhood. And I'd never met him. I just knew his music. Your neighbors? Yeah, we're neighbors. See, now he said, we've met. He hadn't moved into the hood too long. He was living in another part of South Sea. Uh -huh. But now he just moved into Halai Estate. Mm -hmm. And now he's befriending my sister and my sister's best friend and a few other people. But I, because I was so busy with all over in school or whatever, I didn't really have a chance to meet him. So, Maxi now asks me, yo, um, there's an Ogopa event happening. There's an event happening at Kani. Do you want to come? And I was like, yeah, I don't know if it's going to be a good look because all over and that whole thing. So, you know, what happens? So he was like, this is what we do. Because we're both Christians. I serve in church, we serve in ministry. What we're going to do is anytime we're there, we're going to be carrying our equipment with us. <laughs> that means if anyone says, I'd be like, I was there for work because I'm trying to get an internship going at, Nairobi, at, 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 at Nation FM. So I was carrying my equipment, carrying Eric's equipment with me all over the place, backstage, looking at these guys psyching up. And then suddenly it was time for the event to happen. So Maxi and I now go around to the front. So we're with the audience, with the fans. And we're like, what exactly have we come for again? It's an Ogopa event, that's all we know. It's just going to be lots of Ogopa music playing live. And we're like, okay, so let's go. The first people to come up on that stage was, the first person to come up on that stage was a dude called Kunguru. <laughs> with a dude called Mr. Mr. Lenny. <laughs> and they came to perform this song. Baby don't, baby don't, no, baby one. don't. No, baby no, no, That was a Gopa too. This one was, you give me love, 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 uh, and attention. Girl! <laughs> that one. <laughs> you 
You give me enough love and enough affection Girl. You're always paying attention Woman, I'm so proud girl, to be your lover You love me nicely till I lose my control I will never, never, never let you down I will stand by your side till the day that I die You love me nicely till I lose my control Woman, woman, woman With a woman like you in my life Give me that feeling, you gotta be my wife Yes, I appreciate the way that you flex The way that you sex No girl, I'm gonna chase Anytime that you call me, the answer is yes I feel like a king, want to just be my queen So together we can sing And that's why me sing Me sing Cause you're so beautiful Yeah, yeah Oh man, you're so wonderful Yeah, yeah Oh man, you're so peaceable Yeah, yeah Oh man, come with me Let's get tonight Oh man, you know man I they perform that song and then suddenly things just panda like everything just goes whoop, out of nowhere red sun gets up on that stage we've known red sun because he was part of the um a, a, a group called east african it, no, wasn't, one to it, wasn't, it wasn't east african bashment crew he'd left one to moja had come to an end by this point yeah. you remember there was the first wave of one to moja and a group of three singers whose names i can't remember who were first discovered on the warehouse for real i can't remember their names but it was three crooners three singers so one to moja came to an end and then red sun now teamed up with two musicians from uganda uh, one was called Chameleon and the other was called Bibiku. Yeah. And they became East Africa. I think they became the original East Africa Bashment crew. I think. Yeah. Yeah. I think they just did collabs together quite a lot. Yeah, but they, you know, they don't always show up as a unit. Yeah. Because I remember Bibiku was like, this one's from Kenya, his name is Red Sun, make some noise for Red Sun. This one is from Uganda, his name is Chameleon, make some noise from Red, for, for Chameleon. Now, my name is Baby Cool. When I say Be, you say Be, 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 Be. And then they'd start the song. You get that and then face. after that, the because you know those were the, yeah. those were the original um, Ogopa guys. Yes, they were. Uh, Chameleon, Baby Cool, Baby Rafton, cool. Red yeah. Sun, and then that's when Tumoja, Nanoma. Ah, Nano. Nanoma was also uh, Og- and, and Ogopa, but then they they didn't really make it because they recorded like four songs, but Lucas didn't like their music. Ah, look how that turned out. But remember, they performed the Ah, Jigiri Jigiri Ba Nagia, Ba Nagia, Ne 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 But Red Sun still hadn't done any solo songs by this point. So Red Sun comes out and he does it. I think he did Julie and one other one. And then Isa comes out. And Isa performs Leo ni Leo. And well, like, what has just happened? He did Joe first. Everyone knew Joe. Yeah. But when he did Leo ni Leo, we were like, wait, what? And I'll never forget how. You remember again sound, sound sound equipment again the production values were still finding they were still yes. finding their space and ogopa did a lot of half life then then they yes. did a lot of half life so there was always you could hear his vocals somewhere at the back but but, but the lead is not but there. The, but but there was no lead and then he just would sing the lead yes so then they performed that and then um 
there was another group of young some young Pacherian kids who could not be seen on the stage because they were too young. They were too young. But they were there, they were there by the side. They just couldn't perform. They were told, yo, you be here. Don't worry, as soon as you guys are of age, you can get up on this stage and perform. But you can't for now because you're in high school. You got information to leave school and be here, but that's as far as it can go. Those kids were kleptomaniacs. <laughs> <laughs> then the last song that was performed, uh, the last people to get up on that stage were Mr. Googs and Vinnie Banton. They came and performed Githurai first. Githurai, of course, we all go crazy. And then after that, they sang Fed Up. You remember Fed Up? No. If you fed up, fed up with the boyfriend, say, mm, 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 mm. ah, fed up, fed up with the girlfriend, say, ooh, yeah. You got your memory is too good. <laughs> fed up, fed up. Fed up had, oh, another group that Can sang I that you? day. Another. Is that then, that performance is what made their music video? I didn't know that. Of what song? Of Gidurai. Did it? I don't know. If you watch Gidurai. Is it, you, is it on YouTube? Yes, I'll, in fact, it's this. <laughs> Because Gidurai's music video has them, of course, in Gidurai and all of these other things, the mm. remix. Mm. Then it has them, the performing two of them in performing in Kani. Yeah. So that was the one. That was the one. Then we forgot, I forgot, there was another group that, that did a song called Mona Lisa. Do Vultures. Stuntmasters. Stuntmasters. Na amka kumekucha na pita mama ngina nasikia Chukua, bada ya mda na unademu wakishua Expensive friend aloki mucha thani ametua Fwacha ni kwambie, dem alikuwa ameva A black stretcher, a blue silky top And a pair of black sketchers, an African queen A rare kind of species none of you has ever seen Ako masava, jina ni Mustafa No need for you to worry, we can keep it undercover For real never mind, about your current lover Karibu pita ndani alafu ndo utadiscover Karibu pita ndani alafu ndo utadiscover Karibu pita ndani alafu ndo utadiscover Mona Lisa na vyo tingisha Tingisha Mimi ni mebaki ni mejazika Jazika Kwa sayo kila siku wana uliza Uliza Kwa sayo ni nilipanya mpaka kajipa Chaki Mona Lisa na vyo tingisha Tingisha Mimi ni mebaki ni mejazika Jazika Kwa sayo kila siku wana uliza Uliza Kwa sayo ni nilipanya mpaka kajipa Savebu pale franse Mikasa sukasa mbona unakaza Mara ya kwanza Ni kupeleke kasa blanka Mombasa, rosta, salsa, kam tumakasa the vultures. Check him on a list and have it English. Now, you know the wonderful thing about this song, all these songs were slipped into radio stations and they started playing and they started becoming part of the of the of the sound of Kenya. And we had not seen any of these people in person. So at the point where everything just ratcheted up, Amani came and performed Tahidi, then she did her remember she was doing a lot of techno music. Yes. Butza butza she was way ahead of our time, of her time, if you ask me. Um, and then Nameless comes on and they perform in Anoki. And by this point, the crowd is going crazy. They're losing it. Isa comes on. The Vultures come on. Um, Longombas hadn't come out by this point, I don't think. And then Mr. Guzzi and Vinny Banton come on. And by the time they are doing Fed Up, you couldn't hear anything. People were just Please. shouting too much. We were dancing to music playing in our heads. Because we were all screaming too loudly. And of course, I have to be the good Christian there, holding on to the equipment because there can't be a camera on me. Because I think Pulse and this were coming out at, 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 at this point as well. No, they didn't come out yet. I think they had. And you, it can't be said that you were seen enjoying this music, but we were loving it. <laughs> that was the first time I saw Isa perform. That was the first time I saw Isa. Uh -huh. And then... Because I knew I didn't have to meet him there, I'd meet him at the hood later on. I remember asking him several weeks later, dude, that second verse, that was it the second or the third verse? The third verse, the third verse of... Now Lemuel. you meet him in the digs, in the hood? No, we're hanging out in the hood now. I've met him, you know, him and Yvonne are now starting to really take a liking to each other. And I believe it was my 21st birthday. I think it was my 21st birthday. It was 2001, yes. Um, 
I went to school as usual, you know, everything was pretty normal. And then my sister uh, calls me out of the house and I'm doing assignments and, and she's like, hey, yo, listen, yo, we have a surprise for you. And, and I'm like, what? She's like, just come outside. So they were kind enough to get me, um, there was a bakery in Mugwaya. And they got me two little pieces of cake and put in candles and they sang happy birthday. So it was four people, myself, my sister, Yvonne and Isa. What? And that's when I met Isa. That's when I met him for the first time. Because he was like, yo, happy birthday, dude. I had your, she used to call my sister Kagoro. I had your Kagoro's sister. I, 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 I hear Kagoro's brother. Happy birthday, dude. Happy birthday. And he gives me like a hug and I'm like, yeah, this is very cool. So now it's like a little tradition where we'd be hanging out outside the hood. Like our jobless corner was outside the hood. Now he'd be doing his thing during the day, I'd be doing my thing during the day. But then if him and Yvonne and my sis were hanging out, I actually found I really enjoyed his company. And then they started talking about all these other guys. They talked about Big Pin and they talked about the Buccaneers. Sorry. Oh. It's all right. Yeah. Hello, hello. 